what up what up you already know what it is it's another it's another edit it's another edit man it's another edit if you're still alive which i know you are because you're watching this <laughs> um keep your head up all right it gets tough it gets rough a lot of people done passed but yo it's the end of the year uh last month of the year we're about to hit 2021 so let's let's start off on an optimistic start that's just my little you know my little shebang right there but what's up it's your boy zocardier and we're about to edit another dope video um we're gonna start off blink blink check um this is my boy jp music really 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 dope south florida artist straight fresh out of miami um i think i should really check him out uh check out his music jp music check him out on soundcloud he's definitely there um in the meantime let's work on this let's start this so if you're following along i'm pretty sure you've already done yourself a good solid and you've placed everything in here all of your footages and your music in your project bin folder um to keep things organized as we always try to do it's best to keep it organized so i have these two shots that i did uh, across a two-day span um two different days one is on day one of course which we have these day one shots in this beautiful um hidden low-key hidden in the hood deep deep in the ghettos of little haiti um a nice little wooden forest area which is really dope we're gonna do some dope effects with that um other than that we're gonna focus on just organizing we're gonna organize everything on the timeline which is right here of course um we're gonna start off with we're gonna also you know what we're gonna do some things with the actual modifying of the sequence settings which is really important right especially if you're shooting in two different volumes what i mean by volumes is like resolutions like some of the shots were shot in 4k some of them were shot in 1080p because i needed that faster frame rate and that high definition state to get some really dope smooth really slow shots so i shot in 120 um, 120 frames so we're gonna have some really crazy exotic slow motions right um some were shot in 60 as well too to get some dope um nicer smooth uh slow motion shots well too but we all know shooting in 60 is going to give us some dope slow motions shooting in 120 is going to give us some epic slow motions so let's take a look at it let's dive in we got the first scene right here the first shot pretty pretty modest pretty cool right like a jet i take off when i got your bitch on my and you know what comes in my zone when i roll cuz i roll with the best really humble dude really cool, really cool artist. So we got that. Um, we got that. So we're gonna throw that on the timeline. We're gonna kind of throw it a little bit ahead and want to give us a little leeway of space, just in case, right? Um, we're also gonna put the song. You know what? Instead of that, we want everything to be aligned. So let's not give it that leeway of space, right? Let's put it all, all the way to the beginning. Let's mash it to the front. Um, and you know me. We're gonna go ahead and click save, Control S, Command S if you're on a Mac, of course. Um, control and command, same thing. Uh, alt and option are pretty much those interchangeable, are the same as well, too. So, we're gonna also go ahead and add some tracks so that way we don't run out of tracks as we're layering each one on top of the other. I'll just go ahead and do a simple 15, it doesn't mean we're gonna use them all, but you know, we got that. Let's go ahead and add that audio. Let's definitely add that audio. Let's add that track. Um, Go ahead and start off with the other track. Let's add track two and let's take a look at it really quick. Track two, we got. Still shot, right? You definitely got some still shots in there. Um, 29, 29. I'm looking right here, right? It's just kind of just want to always have your informational for each track right here so you can know what you're working with um otherwise it's like a crazier way to look at it and you'll just go right here i want to say no it's not properties it's gonna be where it says info but you could definitely get that there's such an easier way to do it um if you just go right here to windows and you go to info right because if i unclick it it's gonna go away which i don't want it to wait it actually did it so it's there 
that's the info tab I was talking about which is cool because you'll have it right there too and also you got the metadata always you can always have that which is always relevant right um, as a matter of fact I'll take it and I'll put it drag it right here so it could be cousins with what we have right here infos oh that's not what I was trying to do <laughs> let's see if cool there we go that's what I was trying to do that's how they cousins now they cousins there you go awesome so we have it right here right um and like I said it's 30 frames 29.97 whatever uh so we got it right we got it right here all right we got that first one which is right here on the timeline you can tell because we made a sequence out of it with this lets you know what was used um we'll go to part two went through it it was, it was a still frame we're still gonna add it I'm pretty short but we'll add it for sure and we're gonna I want to color coordinate them too but let's add them all on first then we'll color coordinate it very important look you saw how that just changed lets you know that you used it awesome let's take a look here we're in part we're in let's see here awesome so we're definitely going to use this one right and the whole point of this and just to give you a heads up we're putting everything on the timeline right because we're going to want to synchronize everything I love using AI and this is what we're going to do. We're going to use AI to synchronize all of this so we're not missing any beat. We're not missing um you know the mouthing of the vocals and the song are correct and we're going to rely on Adobe Premiere Pro's AI built in to go ahead and handle that for us, you know, Sensei. Let's take a look. All right. Um I think I clicked exit by accident, so let's click save. <laughs> it's probably updating or something. Awesome. There we go. Don't send. <laughs> God damn it, Adobe. Thank God it's saved. Always save. That's a prime example why you should always save. I'm telling you. Always save. You never know what's going to happen. Cool. Had to save. No pressure. Perfect. Right? So, that was a perfect demonstration of things happen to all of us. Even those who've done this for years. You must understand this one thing about computers. If it's one thing you'll know, yo, computers are not a hundred percent. Right? So saving, making sure you have backups and copies. Please learn from me, right? So prime example of what just happened. If you didn't catch it, it literally just crashed right there on me. No pressure though. No problem at all. We are a okay. So we're going to go ahead and continue on. Um, let's take a look here. All right. Now we're going to color coordinate. I was kind of talking about that, but we'll do that later. We'll do that in a few. For now, we're going to... Let's take a look here. We're definitely going to mute all of those other tracks because we don't want it to get in the way. But, you know, we don't got to worry about that now yet. So let's move on to the next clip. This one, once again, third. 30 frames right 30 frames per second so they've all been shot at 30 frames roughly at the same you know 4k uh let's take a look here okay so this one's more okay so this was more motion right not still awesome always need these Got this um let's keep going got a few more to go go along with so let's take a look another one 30 pretty short but it's probably because it messes up awesome so we don't need that at all uh we'll we'll 
we'll just delete it as a matter of fact we'll remove it how come I don't see it <laughs> you know it'd be crazy it'd be right there in front of you too and you just don't see it it's all good just hit the delete key on your key keyboard and it'll be straight um, another one so see this is your 120 frame but we're not even there yet we're gonna go back to C0006 um, let's take a look at it this was kind of emotional one too I think awesome I think you yeah, want to keep on going probably like an ISO B-rolls okay, so this was definitely B-roll scenes as you just heard me say so cool. We'll put that there as well too, right? It's B-roll and we'll just have it there. As a matter of fact, I just want to color it now so I can just know that it's B-roll. I would tend to put B-roll as yellow. Um, That's just me. That's just my personal color coordinating thing. So I can know it's not all that there, right? Uh, let's do this one. I think this one's going to be B-roll too. Yeah, this is definitely B-roll. B-roll is definitely going to be 120 for sure. Um, let's put that here. And we'll also color coordinate it as... Yellow. Cool. Color coordinate that as yellow. Um, okay, 60. Right? We got our 60. Good. Get into it. Awesome. Perfect. 60 frames, so we don't really need all of that. And it's going to be a slow motion, so it's going to be cool. Awesome. Label. Yellow. Cool. Take a look here. On nine. Oh, I like this shot right here. This shot was more of a like. There was like a pole there, so I kept trying to use that pole to my advantage. That's like I kind of saw that. That, ob that object interference, right? Right. That was right there. Which is cool, because I'm going to actually use that as a transition phase, right? Kind of like while it's passing by, you see the next scene following it, making it look pretty epic right there. Um, I won't say this is a B-roll, because we got a full one, and he's really going into it. So... I'll add that as well too, right? Nine, put it right there, mash it at the beginning. You're gonna see the icon change, which means we're using it, it's in use. And we also have him with him with a mask on, which is cool, right? Put your mask on. All right, so let's take a look here. Probably running out of tracks too. No, we're not allowed. Awesome, so we have this one. This is definitely... scene can't see the voice so it's cool we'll put that as a b-roll scene most definitely and it'll match with it too so we'll make that yellow right let's do that awesome so we got this one is yellow let's take a look so we got that um let's see what else do we have Ooh, let's not forget right we're gonna definitely have to change the sequence too because mind you remember i was telling you we have different resolutions we have 1920 by 1080 and we also have our 4k which is no pressure we're just gonna put the video at 1080p um no pressure at all easy way to fix it easy easy way to fix it um still gonna come out epic still it's still gonna come out hard fire right uh let's take a look here Cool. So we'll get to that in just a second. As a matter of fact, we'll add some more tracks, right? It's another B roll scene for sure. This is without a shot of a doubt B roll. Depth of field is awesome. 
Everything's right there. What's this nigga Dr. Wright birthday? So me and him some lar went to fucking the Lex. Cool. <laughs> Y'all was at the Lex? Yeah, we was at a surviving kitchen gym, yeah. There we go. Awesome. Boys was vibing. Mm -hmm. Just doing this. Perfect. So that's definitely a B-roll scene without a shot of a doubt, right? So we'll put this here. We'll label it as yellow. Alright. Awesome. Um you know what? It's a special one. I'll leave it as yellow. I won't even d deter from it. Whatever. Uh, what I will do. I don't normally rename them. I'm telling you, I really don't. I don't want to make y'all do nothing extra. But I'm just going to rename it. Because this is just B roll. Putting mask on. Cool. Just to have it there. I. I don't know. Just I just want to know what it is, and part of the reason why I'm doing this because I'm hoping that you'll adopt the same nature too to be really org organized, even when you don't want to, right? B-roll with mask on. So cool. Just wanted to rename those. Awesome. We'll definitely save after what happened last time. We'll even throw a copy of a copy, just because, right? Whatever. Um, we'll go, we'll move on. Let's move on. What we got? Building thing. Before you get the This is definitely B, B roll for sure, yeah. right? Showing everything. If you want, you could put the, um. Yeah, well, do it. So this is B roll scene as well, too. May not really need it. Um, definitely will need it because of the because of the b-roll that it does show but i don't think i want to put on the timeline i'll skip that one um it's not everything well if you hear some in the background that's me listening to the npr y'all yeah, know that shit just listen to the npr so this is definitely a b-roll scene i'm not that focused on him there cool b-roll scene that put it yellow just double check yeah keep on going yeah cool so We'll add that. Oh, I already had it. Never mind. Redo. Control Z. Awesome. Um, we'll keep that there. We we're almost done. Almost done here. We got one at the bottom, of course. Created the sequence off of that. That's why we have this marker right here. Um, and that's the sequence just to show proof. Now, peep this really quick. You see that? That is what I would call right here where you see the mouses where you see how that clip looks and I'll play it in just a second I kind of want to show you the issue with different resolutions but before we get there no pressure we'll continue on let's just add the rest of these day one clips on here so we're on 14 right I like this one a lot it shows a lot of depth of field with the fact that we have these light bulbs right here which looks pretty dope I liked it um, let's take a look here. Yeah, keep on going. B-roll. My bad for everything you hear in the background, which of course you're going to hear it because we got all those layers right there. Just wanted to see what we had, which I should do it like this better so we have less interruptions. Look, I'm telling you, I will mess up purposely. I will mess up because I just mess up. But this is the best thing about you're going to see the mess ups and you're going to see how to fix it. And so when you encounter it, it's nothing but a straight push. Right. Let's go. Nah, nah, 
this one too this was like a nice a well, nice little cameo right definitely b-roll scenes for sure just wanted to get that nice cameo let's see definitely need some a little bit closer to it the spiders in them that's what i'm saying too oh okay let's get a fucking they about this big no cap they feed them lettuce <laughs> You think I'm you think I'm joking, that's the funny part. Yeah. Some lighting, hold on. Clean. Awesome. There we go. Clean. Just had to adjust it. Alright. Always good to have your cameos. Awesome. So that's definitely a B-roll scene without a shot of a doubt. We'll throw that yellow on it. Um, rename as well, too, just so we can be as to share what it really is. Um, let's see here. Uh, cameo with shades on. Cool. Throw that yellow baby on it. Awesome. Awesome. So we got our day one clips. Now, contrary to belief, crazy enough, we got to put day two clips on there. And day two, I think, shouldn't be that crazy. But, but we definitely got to put day two clips on there. Now, before I do so with this one, we're definitely going to go ahead and just put some colors on it just to keep it, you know, organized away. Not too crazy. Let's see here. Um, green. Make it whatever color you want, honestly. Um, it's just... It's just a color coordination that you want to have so you can know what you're working with, honestly. Uh, we'll do these three colors could be the main colors and I'll do this. Da -da -da. Teal. You're not. I mean, whatever. <clears throat> cool. We'll make this one. I know you're probably like, oh my gosh, there's so much to it. Not really a lot to it. There you go. Pretty easy. It's actually going to help you out in the long run with your eyes. And actually when you're putting everything up and cutting it. Um, we can easily go do a synchronize right now, but that wouldn't be all that uh, strong, right? Because we got to put day two. We have to put this, right? We got to put these clips. Not a lot. Not a lot of clips as well. So cool. Let's go. Um, it's like, what am I doing? I've been gone, I've been done. Awesome. Don't be friends, they pretend. I'll be with them Benjamins. They hide as a satellite. Watch back in my dividend. I'm just 
told you you don't want it for some reason they keep awesome so this is uh we'll add this as well So maybe we need more tracks than what I thought. So let's do that. Let's focus on that. Let's add some more tracks. Add tracks. Add like a good, whatever, 15. Nothing big. 15 more tracks after. Cool. There we go. Hit a save one time. Cool. So have these awesome let's add this space right because it starts all over that's why you always want to make sure you color coordinate so you can know what's going on I'm actually going to do this I should have color coordinated them day one with day one whatever you could have did it that way too as well so you know, just be ideal with how you're color coordinating it and everything. That's all. So we have this, right? This is going to let us know that we're here. I'll even rename it. Because I don't want nothing crazy to happen. Uh, day one, two, <laughs> day two. Perfect. So we have it right here. We're just going to go ahead and put everything up on top. Let's put this right here. Um... We'll put this right here. What else? Let's see. And we'll use we'll click the tilde only because I wanted well that didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Um let's see if this would work. I'm just gonna try something. I don't think it's gonna all that work. I was hoping I could use tilde to just have two stations, but that's not going to work. Cool. No pressure. We'll add this. Now, I want to be organized, right? So, let's put this right here. I'm going to add this one. And then there's more that we have to add. Not too much. Let's see. To make it easier for some screen real estate. It's always good to have two screens, but I'm not rich like everybody else. I ain't got all that. I ain't got that. Y'all got that. Y'all could afford that, not me. I got one screen, so we're going to make the best out of this one screen. <laughs> I think this is why people like me a lot, because I'm not, you know, I'm not them. I'm not those YouTubers with all that cash. I'm just use what I have and make it work to the best of my ability, as always. Um... Let's go back. And of course, whatever we don't use towards the end, we can always go back to the project and see if we can fit it in for a little cameo if it's if it makes sense. Right. Uh, let's take a look at this. Let's lock right here just so that we know we have a some type of separacy. Right. Day one, day two. Um, let's take a look here. What else do we have? It's definitely cameo or B-roll left the yellow. Let's move on. Got some dope shots with a city background right there. Out there in Wynwood. Let's go. Another one. Awesome. B-roll. And last one, I'm pretty sure. Yep. B-roll as well too. Cool. So, we got it, right? We did it. Now, what we will do. B-roll. Yellow. B-roll. Yellow. Awesome, so it's probably B-roll as well too. Let's make it yellow really quick. Throw some yellow mustard on it. Awesome, so we have our day, our um, I think they'll let me change multiple clip names. I doubt it. They won't. Uh, nope, I don't see it, cool. <laughs> Which is too cool, no pressure. Let's take a look and see. Awesome. Control S. There we go. Um, we're gonna synchronize. We're gonna sync this, and this is me testing AI of Adobe. Let's see what y'all have for us after we sync y'all. 
Um, before we do that, let's just kind of finish doing this here. Whatever. Give y'all different colors so y'all don't get in the way. Rolls. We'll make you mango. And we can make you a beautiful magenta. Awesome. Cool. Everything's separated. It looks crazy. It's really not. We just colored it and we've organized what we needed to organize as we should. Um, let's keep this flow going and we're going to actually synchronize. So let's do that. I'm just labeling this one thing down here. No pressure. All of this for a music video. Yes, a very good music video that was shot in a budget that we're going to make beautiful. Um, and let's go ham. Uh, let's see. So let's bring that screen back. Let's bring you back. And prime example, right? You kind of see a little mishap right here. We're going to have to fix before we move forward to the actual synchronization. Reason being, we have two different resolutions, right? One in 1080p, the other in 4K. And to do that, we're just going to default switch to 1080p, which is cool. Because ideally... You're not going to really see 4K like that so freshly, right? Not everybody has access to it. So 1080p is always one of those good resolutions to just jump right into. And luckily, we're able to do it here. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. Let's go ahead and change this up really quick. We're going to go ahead and change the settings pretty easy. Save. I'm going to go to Sequence. We should go to Sequence Settings. Sequence settings, awesome. So it's running at that. We're definitely going to want to change it to 20. I'm going to try something new. So we're going to put... You know what? Before we change that, let's do what we had to do. Frame size, very important. 1920 by 1080. Now, this should be perfect. Awesome. Fixed it. Definitely fixed it temporarily right what we're gonna have to do to those footages that were you know for four four k right we're literally just gonna go to scale and put it by 50 because it's gonna be at 100 we're just gonna drop it down to 50 so that way it fits to that 19 you know by 1920 by 1080 awesome quick fix now let's take a look here for example i just wanted you to see an example of what i mean by what happens see see how it's too zoomed I'm gonna just do a quick thing really quick we'll go here we'll go to effects see how it's at 100 if we drop that to 50 boom we're right where we need to be awesome I'll put that back because I want to synchronize it before we jump into anything crazy um, awesome so we have it we have it all right here all right here for mr. JP music all right, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna have to mute those, of course, get that out of the way. We're gonna unlock this so we can be able to get that synchronization. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and sync it. So let's see.